Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today we're brayering with Spectrum Noir Alcohol Ink Refills. Spectrum Noir Alcohol Ink Refills are, of course, designed for refilling your Spectrum Noir pens, but they also make really great card backgrounds. And this background is Spectrum Noir Ink that has been brayered onto cardstock. It's such an easy technique to do, and it gives a really great, fast background. So let me show you how I've done this. First, I need a piece of cardstock, and I'm working with the Nina Classic Crest cardstock, and this is from Crafter's Companion, as are the alcohol inks that I'm using, and this is the Spectrum Noir line. The Classic Crest is designed to work with the Spectrum Noir pens and alcohol ink refills. So I've got a piece of the cardstock, and I'm working with TB4, a really pretty soft blue, so I need my alcohol ink. I also need to have some rubbing alcohol, and this is in a spray bottle, and I, you can get this at your drugstore or your local pharmacy, so I need some rubbing alcohol. And then I also need a brayer, and this is just a little rubber brayer that I have, a mini brayer from Ranger. And working onto my craft sheet, I'm going to give just a quick spritz of the rubbing alcohol directly onto my craft sheet, and then take my alcohol ink, and using the little dropper, I'm just gonna put some ink down into the rubbing alcohol. Working pretty quickly, I'm gonna take my brayer and immediately brayer this onto my cardstock. You do want to work pretty quickly because as you can see, that ink is already starting to evaporate and dry. So you want to use it while you can. You can go in all different directions on your um, piece of cardstock and really use up all of that ink. And of course, you can again do it over and add more color if you want to. This is basically dry. That's how quickly it dries. So I'm just gonna sweep up a little of this excess ink on here. You can also use just a baby wipe to clean this up and off your brayer. You can also come back with the rubbing alcohol and use that to clean up the rest of your craft sheet. So I could use this as my background right away, or I can also add a little bit more rubbing alcohol to this. So again, coming in with my spray bottle of rubbing alcohol, holding this maybe six to eight inches away and at an angle, I'm just going to give a quick spritz. And it doesn't look like much at first, but then as it starts to react with the um, alcohol ink on there, you start to get a very subtle kind of spattered effect. And I hope that you can see this. You can, of course, go back and add more if you want to. If you're looking in kind of the darker areas here, I think you can see kind of a spattery effect. Very subtle, which is also really nice. As I mentioned, you can come back and add another spritz. You do want to resist the urge that I had at first of spritz, 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 because if you add too much rubbing alcohol, it really, you lose some of the detail of the fine spatters on there. So I think you can see that um, really subtle effect on there. You can see it a little bit better on my main card. So let me bring this back in, and you can see some of it over here in these areas and then down at the bottom as well. Um, again, pretty subtle, but I really like it. So once I've got my piece trimmed down, and it dries within seconds, it dries very quickly, and I've just matted it on, up onto pink cardstock, put it onto the front of my card. This focal piece here is three-dimensional paper tool, and it's kind of a metallic effect. This is from Hot Off the Press. You can see that it's up on foam tape and layers and layers of foam tape. So it's the Botanicals 3D Paper Tool Set. You just punch out those pieces and pop them up with foam mounting tape for the dimension. And I've also got um, the important stamp on here. This is also from Hot Off the Press, and this is from their Artful Collection of Stamps. So it's this important banner on here. Before I stamped that, I used a little bit of excess Nina Classic Crest, and I did the same brayering technique using PL1, a really pretty soft pink. And it's, a, again, a pretty subtle effect, but I just brayered that onto that white cardstock and then stamped important using Jet Black Archival Ink from Ranger and then trim that out and again, put that up onto foam tape. And I've got some sheer ribbon and some twine on here going in both directions just to add a little bit of extra texture to my card. So this is how you can brayer with your Spectrum Noir alcohol ink refills. I hope you enjoyed today's show. For more ideas and inspiration, please do stop by my website at sarahnewman.com. Thank you so much for joining me on Studio SN and I will see you again next time.